Hi, this is Tudor Nick P, and this is noun phrase 174. The noun phrase today is a wake-up call, and we actually have two meanings and two uses for this noun phrase. All right, let's look at the first one. Uh, a wake-up call is a call requested by a guest at a hotel to be awoken at a specific time, uh, especially if it is very early. Nowadays, most are probably done by an automated system if requested. Sometimes, you, in Asia, I think sometimes people refer to it as a morning call as well. All right, let's continue. Uh, the second one is probably more important because most people know this one, but not everybody knows the second one. The second one is the one that we hear a lot these days. Uh, and especially the first one, a lot of people have their cell phones, so they just may use their cell phone to wake themselves up in the morning. They may not even bother the hotel, even though you can still use that service. Most of them still provide that service. All right, let's look at number two here. A wake-up call can refer to an alert or a warning, uh, et cetera, that one comes to realize, uh, you know, because of the seriousness of a situation through a dramatic personal experience. Yeah, so they experience something that makes them realize, oh, my God, I better stop. I better change because if I don't, something bad may happen. So this is what we mean by a wake-up call, especially like in one's life. All right, let's continue. Uh, the origin of the term wake-up call started with hotels offering this service as a courtesy call. You know, courtesy just means for free. Courtesy call to its guest, starting in the early 1900s. Ironically, in the 1930s, the telephone company offered a service to subscribers to receive calls between 3 a.m. and 8 a.m. Oh, I don't know when this stopped. Probably stopped long before I was born. But they did actually have that service at one time, too, that the phone company used to call you to try to wake you up, okay? Uh, they would be awoken by constant ringing, okay? The use of a wake-up call to mean a warning or an alert seemed to become more popular in the 1960s. So you can see how you could easily make the jump from a, you know, a wake-up call like somebody actually waking you up and a wake-up call in your life. You know, something happening is kind of wake you up and make you realize something. All right, and we got three examples. Um, let's cover it. Here's the, here's the first one. When Jack's friend was diagnosed with lung cancer, it was a wake-up call that it was about time uh, to give up his bad habit, you know, smoking. Maybe he was a heavy smoker, smoking a couple of packs a day, and, then, and you know, he thought, ah, no problem, and suddenly his friend, who was maybe doing the same thing, got lung cancer, and he said, ugh. That's going to happen to me if I don't stop. So it was a wake-up call for him. Okay, number two. Steve used to speed all the time, you know, like in a car or a scooter or a motorcycle. But after having a close call of almost hitting a small child uh, crossing the street, it was a wake-up call for him to start driving, you know, more safely. Like, don't take these chances anymore. God forbid that actually happened he would regret it probably for the rest of his life. So it was a wake-up call for him to change his ways. Okay, and the third one here is, is the real wake-up, the original wake-up call again. Uh, Bob requested a 5 a.m. wake-up call so he could have enough time to prepare and catch an early flight. That's usually the reason that people do get wake-up calls. Okay, anyway, I uh, hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.